Hi, welcome back to Grow New Plants. So today I've got my Shumar Dread Oaks and I looked it up and they've been about 10 to 11 weeks since I planted them. And obviously they've gotten huge and I'm not positive, but I think I got 100% germination with these things. So I let them dry a little bit to make them easier to get out of the pot. So I'm gonna up pot them into root maker pots. So I'll move the cameras in and we'll get started to take a look at some of them in the root systems. And uh, I'm not gonna pot them all up. I'll plant maybe five or six of them up on camera. Okay, I'm gonna have to move these things around because they're so big and you won't be able to see what I'm doing. These things really took off great. This was a new tree that I used for these this year too. So uh, we'll just start out with this one here in the corner. So there's our root system. Completely full, packed in there, full of little fibrous roots. So they're gonna, they're gonna take off and go crazy as soon as they get down in this new soil and hopefully it will spur some new growth on for these things. And that's all I'm doing, just planting them up in a root maker and I'm using my 75% uh, bark mulch, 25% peat moss with a root maker 8 fertilizer in it. So and I've got a video of how I mix that up. I'll put that up at the top if you want to watch it. So we'll pull out, we'll pull out five of them. I'll plant five of them up. I think they're all going to look just like this. Nice, good, sturdy roots. Good central leaders on the majority of them, I think. So I'm going to take some of these and I've talked about this in some of my other videos because I'm kind of running out of space with some of these trees. So what I'm going to end up doing is I'm going to plant most of these, I say most, maybe half of them up into one gallon root makers and grow them out. And I'll eventually move them up into bigger pots. And then I'm going to put some of them into just plain one gallon containers and sell them as basically infant trees. These are all pretty much going to look the same. I mean, full, nice, full, beautiful root systems. And if any of them are crooked, I'll straighten them out when I plant them. I'll, you know, that's kind of a thing that you, you, you can do with just about any kind of a tree or plant. You know, when you transplant them, it's a chance to straighten them out a little bit if they're, if they're a little bit crooked. But most of the time, when they start growing up to the sun and all that, they'll, they'll straighten themselves out. But I give them at least the best chance that I can. Some of these are getting a little bit wilty just because I let them dry out. But I just did that so to make them easier to come out of the pots. So I'll give them a good soaking and they'll be fine. Uh, here's a nice one right here. Again, full, nice full root systems all the way around. I'll do one more after this then. Yep, so I did, I did try another, another mother tree this year for my Shumard Red Oaks and so far done really well with it. So I think it's been a good tree. We'll do one more. And how about this one right here? Again, you can see there's some new roots just starting to come out right there. They hadn't made it away to a hole yet, but so now they can just take off right down into this fresh soil and start growing. And let me, I'll, let me finish planting this one up and I'll look and see what my germination rate was. And if you remember in the first video on this one, and I'll put a link of course up to the first video when I planted these seeds, these are the ones that I'd soaked and let sit longer than I normally would. And they started germinating, just putting roots out. And so I just kind of let them sit in that bag for a little while. And then they, most every one of them already had tap roots coming out. I'm looking through here. Yep, I had 18 out of 18 came up with these. So we did really well with these. So, so we, got, uh, we got five of them planted up. We got some nice, I mean, these are already probably close to 18 inches tall. So they worked out really good. So anyway, I appreciate you watching. Please like, please share, please subscribe. Thank you. Bye.